hello guys welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness youtube channel today's episode is going to be about the biggest and the latest agricultural news in nigeria and the news is that the federal government of nigeria has given the approval for the circulation of gmo maize seed in nigeria so and the purpose of this video is just to educate us as a farmer and even as generally as a nigerian about this gmo and the latest approval given by the government what does it mean for the government what does it mean for the food security in nigeria what does it mean for the farmer what does it mean for the ordinary nigeria the consumers but firstly before i go into details of all this let me just briefly talk about the gmo and the approval of the of the government what is gmo actually gmo is basically genetically modified organism and what does this mean this means that the gene of the plant or the animal has been engineered to perform so, some certain function that is not naturally attributed to those plants or to those animals such as resistant to pests resistant to disease resistant to environmental factors like rainfall or to like a drought i mean so much and so forth why do we need gmo these are the most of the common question people ask why do you need gmo uh, the main reason why scientists develop gmo is for us to achieve food security to improve their to improve our food production per unit area now that's been said uh there are also concerns all over the world about uh the health risk or the health benefit associated with gmo i can categorically tell you to the best of my knowledge as of today there is no confirmed uh result or there is no confirmed research there is no confirmed data that confirm that gmo uh promote or gives a kind of health risk or gives a com a fine a kind of a disease there is no data to that as at present moment but what i can confirm to you definitely is that there is no advantage of you consuming you cannot gain any benefit from consuming gmo food over non-gmo food so that is that about that so what is it about the new approval given by the federal government? So federal government uh, has given approval and the seed of GMO seed, the teller, teller maize, is called the teller maize, will be in circulation by June this year. And it's in four variety. We have the Summers 72 variety, 72T variety, Summers 73T variety, 74T variety, and 75T variety. These are the four varieties of the GMO EMO approved in Nigeria. And Nigeria is not the only country that is implementing this project, the Teller Maze project. The Teller Maze project, GMO project, is being implemented in countries like Mozambique, uh, countries like Kenya, countries like Ethiopia, and countries like South Sudan. These are the five countries that is running the Teller Maze GMO seed concurrently in Africa as at today. So it might interest you that uh, why some countries are banning GMO, some countries are adopting it. Yes, uh, the, the aim of each government of each country differs. What the federal government of Nigeria wants to achieve with the GMO seed is improve productivity on the part of the farmers. And that is why I will be listing some attributes of this GMO that is approved in Nigeria. The number one attribute of the seed the, that is approved in Nigeria, the Teller maize seed, which is the GMO seed approved in Nigeria, is that it is drought resistant. It is drought tolerant, I mean, which means that it can produce favorably. It can survive with little rain. With little. Number two uh, uh, attribute to this seed is that it have resistance to stem borer and fall armyworm. If you are a maize farmer, these two particular pests 
they are the one of the most important pests that, have, that attack maize plant and maize farm and they cause serious havoc and serious damage resulting into low productivity so uh, this seed this improved seed this gmo has taken care of that and this seed also have the attributes to produce ton, 10 tons per hectare which when you compare it with the hybrid the latest hybrid we have in that category which is which can only produce six tons per hectare in nigeria presently so on the part of the farmer this approval means higher result higher yield per hectare for them which means uh, more productivity and more money for the farmer on the part of the consumer it means our consumption our eating pattern will be different now because in the developed world you have the right to know what you are eating it's your body and it's your money so uh, and i hope nigeria government will bring something like this to the know uh, to the system of the of our country for us to differentiate in the market to know whether this seed is just the normal seed uh, the normal food this conflict is made from the normal maize or is made from the conflict uh, from the gmo if this powdered pap is made from gmo or is made from the normal and you pay accordingly consumer have the right to know what they are consuming or what they are paying for that is it so uh this development is being uh pioneered by the institute of agricultural research in Abmadu Belo university in partnership with uh, uh there's a in partnership with teller maze project uh africa uh and that is it so by june this year we should be on the lookout for <laughs> for gme gmo seed to be available to farmer so in something like by june july august september by september this product the maze of gmo the crop will be hitting the market so if you are somebody you don't want to hit gmo you have to be on the lookout because maize production will not be the same in nigeria again it will not be the same in nigeria again so it's a game changer if you have preference ask question before you buy your maize your custard your conflicts your pack will not be the same again it's for you to ask question or to grow on your home thank you for your time and i hope you have gotten information about this gmo seed uh to to a very very reasonable uh, extent uh, with this i've come to the end of today's uh, topic and i hope you got value one way or the other i'll be dishing out more information as i have it about this CM gmo seed uh in my next uh video thank you for your time and see you on the next one Shishi.